it finally happened, you've run out of storage space, but what should you upgrade to? Well, we teamed up with Crucial who provided the T500 and the P310 NVMe SSDs for us to take a look at the key differences, strengths and weaknesses of each and why you might choose one over the other. Starting out with the newcomer, the Crucial P310 2280 drive. It's available in capacities from 500 gigabytes through to two terabytes. And here in the studio, we have got a one terabyte drive which uses the PCIe 4 interface. Read and write speeds of this drive come in at 7,100 megabytes per second and 6,000 megabytes per second respectively. But these numbers don't paint the full picture as we'll get onto a little bit later on. Moving on, we're gonna take a look now at the older cousin of the P310, the T500. And again, this is a one terabyte example, although this drive is actually available in larger capacities up to four terabytes. It makes use of the same PCIe 4 interface as the P310. And on paper, they really don't look to be all that different, to be honest. With similar read and write speeds as the P310 at 7,300 megabytes per second and 6,800 megabytes per second. Though as mentioned before, that doesn't tell the whole story. Now the main difference is that sets the T500 apart from the P310 and other similarly specced SSDs is the type of storage that it uses. That's to say the chips themselves on the drive. There are a couple of main versions of these chips which are called TLC and QLC NAND flash. The LC part stands for level cell and the T and Q before that stands for triple or quadruple. And all of this means how many bits can be stored per cell or chip density to look at it another way. The T500 uses TLC, whereas the P310 uses QLC. The benefits of QLC seem fairly obvious. More bits per cell means more things can be stored without needing to add more chips onto the drive. And this results in there being less components to assemble, meaning it's cheaper for you and I to buy. However, this is not without some drawbacks, and the main drawback to QLC is performance. Having more data packed into less chips reduces how quickly the chips can read and write data. The other big drawback is reliability, and that's not to say that QLC drives will fail after a week, far from it. Long-term application, however, is worth mentioning that by nature, QLC won't last quite as long. And this is shown in the specs of the drives in the endurance rating. The P310 is rated for 220 TBW or terabytes written, versus the T500 600 TBW. This is the expected amount of data a drive can write before those memory cells are expected to fail. So far, it sounds like QLC is to be avoided. However, that is not the case at all, especially with this P310. The performance available for such a well-priced drive makes this an easy choice for those looking to expand their game library, fully utilizing the rapid response and super low latency. And using the 3 d Mark benchmark tool, you can see in the bandwidth test for a 2TB array of drive, puts it right up there with considerably more expensive drives such as the well-known Samsung 990 Pro. The same can be said with the 3 d Mark storage benchmark score, putting it right between the SN850X from WD and again, that 990 Pro. Towards the top of all these lists, however, is the T500, so the difference in performance from QLC to TLC is clear to see. However, it all depends on what you need the drive for. To be able to decide whether or not it's worth spending the extra, as MSRP pricing puts the T500 around £40 more expensive than the equivalent P310 2280. Having said that though, at the time of filming this, we do have some very special deals on here at SCAN, so you might be able to get the best of both worlds. So in summary, if you're looking for deployment in an office or studio, or if you're all about performance, the T500 would be 100% the way to go. Drag race the pair and the T500 would win every time, plus the long-term reliability of TLC Flash isn't something the P310 can keep up with. But if you need something that will work really well without the need for bells and whistles, then the P310 is unmatched with the performance it offers for the price that it comes in at. It is worth noting that both drives are compatible with PS5 if you're looking to expand your storage, providing you have a heatsink on it. As always, links to the products that have been featured in this video will be in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, why not leave us a like and subscribe so that you can keep up to date with all of our future videos.